I wanted to just chat to you about our prayer meeting happening on Sunday at 4 p.m. You might have asked the question, well, why would I want to go to a prayer meeting during this pandemic? Here's my take on why I think it'd be good for us to get together, obviously for those who have no comorbidities or other illnesses, and having taken all the precautions possible from our side to prevent the spread of COVID-19, I think prayer is such an amazing way in which we can connect together and play a role to actually affect the will and the kingdom of God here on earth. So on Sunday, things will be slightly different to what you're used to. And we've put together a little video just to help you see what it might look like on Sunday and what the process would be for you to get into the prayer meeting. So here's how it's going to work. The first step, because we're only allowed less than 50 people at our building, you're going to have to book. Now booking is a very simple process. You will get a WhatsApp message from us with a link. Once you open this WhatsApp message and click on the link, it will take you straight to our booking site. Here you will see um, the meetings available, in this case it's a prayer meeting on the 28th of June. You will select it and then you will also be able to select how many tickets you want to book or how many people would like to come to the meeting. Click on view selections and if the details are correct, then click book now. You will now be required to fill in your email address and then also your name and surname as well as your physical address and your cell phone number. These details are required by the government for everyone who attends any of our meeting. So this just helps us to have your details filled in already before you actually get to the meeting to help us not create congestion at the door. Once you've done, click complete and there we go, it's done. You have your booking reference and also you receive an email confirming that you have booked for this meeting. And that's as simple as it is. Remember if you do have a struggle booking, you can also just WhatsApp Jade. Okay, so you are now booked to come to the prayer meeting. Next step, please remember to bring a mask, stick that on, because you'll not be able to get into the building without a mask. Now I know this might be a little bit strange and new for us to book for meetings and take masks to meetings, but I want you to know that we want to honor, first of all, the government and the regulations they've given us, but secondly, for us to remind ourselves that, you know, the church that Jesus has in mind for 2020 is a church that's able to adjust and adapt and be that church that's still reliable and dependable no matter what the effort is to meet together in the name of Jesus Christ. Cool, so once you've made your way to the building, You'll be met with a friendly helper at the door at City Life. Keep your social distancing. Your temperature will be taken. You'll be asked to sanitize your hands. And you'll fill in the form. Once you've done that, make your way to your seat. You'll see that the seating is spaced out slightly differently according to the regulations. We're going to pray up a storm, enjoy our meeting, and when we're done, make our way back out the door. Remember, if you use the bathrooms during this time, only one person will be allowed at a time. If you are vulnerable or have any comorbidities or other illnesses, we recommend that you join us online via Facebook to pray together with us. So this particular prayer meeting is going to help us to be a bit of a run through of what our meetings might look like when we get them going on a Sunday morning. There will be some live worship. So for those who are able, those who have no symptoms, those who have faith to venture out, I want to encourage you to come and join us. This will help us also to, to train ourselves and get ready for meetings into the future. I also think the reason why we're connecting buildings is so that unsafe people can have the opportunity to actually meet us face to face. I believe that coming out of this pandemic, there'll be many people searching 
for answers and looking for God. And we certainly want to be a people that are available to them, not just online, but also face to face. And so we thank God that we have this office space. We want to be faithful with it and utilize it as best as we can at every opportunity we can. So the reason I'm going to go is because even though Jesus has stayed the same, the mission stays the same, the mandate has stayed the same, the church that Jesus Christ has in mind for 2020 is flexible, adaptable, and dependable. And so I most certainly am going to trust God and, and I feel like I have the faith to come um, to that prayer meeting. We'll be continuing with our online meetings indefinitely. And so don't ever feel bad if you, if you are feeling sick or you don't have the faith to come out. Please still engage with us on that. If you're parents with small children, this might be a great opportunity to get into the habit of letting one parent come without the kids while the other enjoy our meetings online at home. And this way you could even minister to each other in a different way where each one of you can spend that focused time at our church meetings to connect with others and to connect with God. We certainly believe that it's going to be great to see each other and to be together again in a safe environment this Sunday as we come together for our prayer meeting. So look out for the WhatsApp message, make sure you book, and we'll be expecting you as you come into the building. Thank you so much. God bless and hope to see you on the weekend.